Okay, my research focuses on uh, rare phenotypes. So, if you take a trait, whatever the trait is, I will go to the extremes. I became fascinated in twinning because when I was in my former mentor's lab at UCLA, I was um, cutting embryos in two using a surgical blade. And those are frog embryos, okay? And right before your eyes, you would see them, you'd see each half heal and give rise to a pair of clones, identical twins. And so then I asked myself, well, I can do it, but humans do it without a surgical blade, right? Um, an embryo just happens to split and it clones two human individuals. So I said, well, if humans can do it naturally, maybe there's a genetic trigger for it. And so from there on, I said, okay, I'm gonna look for those rare cases of inherited twinning. I choose the people in my lab with, um, with a lot of intuition. Yeah. So, um, of course, we rely on uh, letters of references, but I think a personal, there's gotta be a personal uh, touch and something that makes you think, oh, I'm gonna work well with that person. They have to surprise me, I think, and they have to question me. I don't want to have someone who will say yes. I want actually to have someone to say no. I like people that question authority. Um, because if you don't, then you're stuck. <laughs>